It didn't last very long. Thank you for everybody on Facebook that is supporting me. It's a really difficult job to get here in front of camera sometimes. Every subscription helps when you're a very small channel and would really appreciate your subscription. It doesn't cost you anything and you get to see awesome content. Awesome. Let's see what the blast proof today is. Today we are working on the Nerf Strike Elite Stockade. It is a flywheel powered blaster that runs on three AAA batteries and has a rotating drum for the dart. And has no attachment points on there but it has a nice attachment point for the shoulder rest. It's a really simple Nerf gun to use. All you do is turn it on. Oh, hang on. All you do is turn it on and pull the trigger. And away it goes. Unfortunately it does have some annoying safety locks, which means as soon as you open something like the jam door, it shuts down. And if it's left open just a little bit, it still doesn't work. So today we're removing some of those locks like this one and see what happens. Okay, first thing we're going to do is open it up. Awesome, screws are taken out and time to open it up. Oh, it opens up like a sort of a butterfly shell. This is a really nice simple blaster. Nice simple trigger. And as you spin it, it turns the barrel there. And shoot, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove that, that sensor. It's, Something we don't want in there. The first thing we're going to do is remove this jam door sensor so you can still operate the blaster when the door is open. Because when you're in a nerf battle, every second counts. way to stop that is to wrap it in some tape. Do I have any tape around? No, I don't have any tape, so the next best way cut the wires, grab a sharp knife. Whenever you're working with a knife, always be extremely careful and or get, ideally get your mum or dad to help you. We're just peeling back the wires to expose so we can twist these wires together and bypass that switch. It needs to be a bit longer. Now if I pass that switch, the door, the motor will operate when the jam door is open. Okay, so what's next? We need to take this one off and see what's underneath here. Just because I'm interested. And in theory, that is all the locks we should need to remove. So I'm going to put it back together and see if it still works. Don't always have a very good success rate with these blasters. But this part, blaster in particular is quite a well-designed one. 
and very easy to work on, which is very much appreciated. A quick test before I put the screws in. Everything's working pretty nice. So, time to put the screws back in. And let's take it to the firing range and see what happens. In this video, we removed the locks for the jam door so the motor will operate while the jam door is open. Which can make a really big difference in a nerf battle if you forget to close your jam door after a jam. We have also put some new batteries in this, and now we're going to check it out and see how it goes. Well, it's a very, very nice gun, this one. And I will be giving this to Bridget and John for the gun that mysteriously broke in one of the previous channels. Yeah. Thank you for watching and every subscription helps so please hit the button.